Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and today I'm gonna to answer one of the most commonly asked questions that I get from people on here on YouTube, uh, but also on the blog and in my online courses. And that is when you're rolling over that clunk, right, that I'm always talking about and trying to get you to sh compress and shear, isn't that just the muscle belly? You know, is it really fascia or how do you know the difference? Like, is how do you know it's not just the muscle belly that you're rolling over? And the answer is it's actually both. It's fascial tissue and muscle fiber, or muscle tissue, because everywhere there's muscle, there's fascia. So here's what I want you to imagine. Inside every single muscle, for example, your biceps, right? Where you're definitely probably gonna get a clunk. You know, most of us, if you're just starting out with fascia release, um, inside that biceps fascia, you have fibrils of muscle tissue. So multiple fibrils make up a fiber of muscle tissue. So already inside one fiber of muscle tissue, you have multiple fibrils, and each one of those fibrils is wrapped or coated in a piece of fascia. And then we have that muscle fiber, which is coated itself in a separate piece of fascia. And then we have, you know, the fascia that wraps the muscle bundle and the muscle um, group. And all of that comes out and turns into tendon and ligament. And then fascia actually wraps the bone too. So here in the biceps, like I was just talking about, um, there's fascia that wraps the humerus bone. And your, the fascia that is really deep there next to the bone can get stuck to the fascia of the biceps. And then nearby the biceps, we have other muscles, right? We have the brachialis, we have the triceps back here, um, and then smaller muscles, of course, uh, at the junctions here at the shoulder. There are, you know, about five attachments right here, of different muscles. Uh, so all of that can get congested and then cause a fascial knot a clunk, right, or uh, a dense ropey area of fascia that you're going to roll over uh, when you're doing fascia release. So fascia can go through, you know, many different phases and have different textures, but for the purposes of this video, what, you, what I want you to kind of think about is that when fascia starts to get dehydrated, it doesn't just go from that you know, wet, fluid glide that we want when fascia is super healthy, it goes from that to sticky before it gets really dehydrated. And so as it passes through this sticky phase, it's made up maybe more of the uh, glycoproteins and just different content, collagen maybe, than just the water content content that we want in there to have that glide. So as it gets sticky, then it's like Velcro and it sticks to nearby pieces of fascia that are of course protecting, wrapping, and coating the muscle fibers. So it is both. However, if your fascia were totally healthy, then your muscle belly would actually feel smooth there would be no clunk. So in some people that I work with in my private practice, we take them from major clunks, say in the biceps, like I've been talking about, to totally smooth uh, in a matter of, you know, a number of sessions over a short, relatively short period of time. So they're not gonna disappear in everybody, but that's maybe a topic for another time. But the answer is it's muscle tissue and fascia, but if the fascia were totally healthy, there would actually be no clunk because everything would be in its rightful place. It would be smooth, supple, soft, and everything would have the glide or water that it needs, and there would be no clunk. So I know I've repeated myself many times in this video, but I hope that makes sense. So if you're doing fascia release and you feel those clunks, that indicates unhealthy fascia that's gotten stuck together. It's bringing the muscle fibers with it and you can release it and free those tissues, bring back that glide that you want and decrease the clunkage. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question if you've ever wondered that. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have new videos that go out every single Monday and Wednesday. And if you join my email community, I've got some free resources for you and I share stories and tips that I don't anywhere else in my weekly newsletters. So you can join by clicking the link below in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye.